my TV at home back in London. So, what, a few thousand miles away. So my wife's watching this right now, so I can actually play to use this sling box and this clip. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So if I put in my password, and uh, I can actually go ahead and it should allow me to connect into this now. Now what this is actually doing is this is streaming my live TV from the box underneath my TV at home, back in London. Got the chip and deal. Now, this is where I find what my, my wife's watching, and uh, it's currently 9pm, so we'll see how this comes up, so it's just starting this up. Now this is live streaming, I have a broadband connection at home, this is streaming BBC One. Straight from my house in, in my in the in back of the UK. <laughs> so if you can't find me uh, tomorrow morning, uh, it's the England uh, uh, Estonia game. So I'll be watching that on my Sling Player mobile. Uh, so if you try and interrupt me, then um, then uh, I'll probably be watching it and probably quite gross. Where are you going to be so I can join you? Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, that's the actual reason why I ended up buying it, because I was actually out of tech in Boston last year when it was at the World Cup, and, you know, I wanted to watch the, the coverage, and so I actually had this just running over uh, Wi-Fi or 3G. This is running over Wi-Fi right now. As you can see, it's, you know, it's great, uh, and it's even better, same with the big screen that we have here. Now, the final couple of things I just want to show you, just to finish off, because we're kind of nearly out of time, is sharing contacts, information, you know, these conferences, we all end up you know, trading business cards and, and you know, sometimes we run out of them pretty quickly. A lot of the time you know, it's really difficult to actually share contact information. So what we've actually done, one of the things we've done in Windows Mobile 6 is to make it easier to do that. So if I just give you an example here, Martin Sonnefeld, who's my Dutch colleague, you know, whenever anyone says, can you send me Martin's email address? I always spell it wrong because I spell Martin with you know, one, a. one A and I spell Sonnefeld or try and put an F in there because it sounds like it needs one. Now, what I can actually do in Windows Mobile 6 is I can put send contact by a text message. So what it allows me to do is pick the information I want to send, so his email address and his telephone number, and it will then create a text message which will then be forwarded on to someone. If they have a Windows Mobile device, they can take it straight to contacts. If they have another device, they'll just get a text message with that information in. But it makes it really easy to be able to share that information from your device uh, with other people. Any questions? What versions of mobile support? 